What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you a fairly easy do-it-yourself project. I'm going to show you how to turn an old Android phone into an IP camera. Alright, so the first thing that I did, I went ahead and restored my uh, phone back to factory defaults. That way I don't have a bunch of applications taking up all my resources. And it's going to be used as just an IP camera and nothing else, so no point in having all that extra stuff anyways. Alright, so after we uh, restore everything back to factory defaults, we need to make sure that we are connected to our network. Once we're connected to the network, you want to go and download the IP webcam app from the Play Store. Once it's downloaded, it's going to give you, uh, you know, some, some settings you can go through. I left all mine factory default. Uh, do make sure you pay attention to the port number, which is 8080. If you can't see that, there it is. Um, you may have to port forward your router, uh, the IP address of the phone, and then forward ports 8080. Um, make sure they're enabled. Otherwise, you may not be able to get uh, see the footage that you're trying to get. Um, after you go through all the settings, all you do is click down here, start server to begin video streaming, and that's basically it. The camera starts up. It gives you your IP address down here, 192.168.0.5 colon 8080. Um, up here at the top, it says, how do I connect? So if you are having some issues, they have um, a couple of different uh, websites they take you to to show you how to connect and how to use this. But I'm going to go ahead and set it up and show you how it works. First thing I'm going to do is just set this in my window here. See if I can... Actually, let me click the back button. There we go. All right, so I'll just put this in my window. Say I want to see if there's anybody, you know, messing with my car. Set it right there. All right, looking out the window at my car. And then I'll just come over here. Let's get out of this. Go to my browser, whatever browser you prefer. Uh, you type in the address, 192.168.0.5 colon 8080. Press enter. And you'll get a, a bunch of options here you can do. They have all kind of different ways you can connect. They even show you that you can use the Tiny Cam app on Android devices to see. Uh, you can use Skype to view the footage. Uh, what I use is fairly easy is the JavaScript to update frames in browser. Um, click that. And there's the footage. You can also view it from your phone. Um, if you get on your phone, you will have to forward your um, forward your your external. So your external IP address coming in, you would have to use that one on your phone if you want to view it while you're not at home. So if you're you know, at the store or something and you want to see what's going on at your house, you would have to make sure you use your external IP address, not the um, not your network IP address. But um, that's basically it. It's really easy. It's basically just downloading the app, make sure your um, your ports are forwarded, and uh, that's it. You get a IP camera. Uh, normally, IP cameras can cost you you know anywhere from about sixty to you know two hundred bucks, depending on what kind you get. This is just an old Android phone. It also does audio. You can see right there at the top it says. Uh, click here to play the audio so if you had it set up in your house and you wanted to hear what was going on as you videotaped uh, you could also hear as you were viewing so that's it 